In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NBA games happening on April 3, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NBA games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 2 betting picks a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Miami Heat vs. Toronto Raptors The Miami Heat play on the back-to-back -back on Sunday following their visit to Chicago the night before. But this is not a time of year that Eric Spolstra can rest his players. The Heat are in a very tight race for the number one seed and home court advantage in the East, holding on to a slight lead over the Bucks, Celtics, and 76ers. The Toronto Raptors seem safely out of the play in tournament, holding a two and a half game over the Cavaliers for the number six seed with just five games to play. The Raptors are playing well at the perfect time of the year, winners of 11 of their last 13, including five victories in a row. The Heat are eight to one to one against the spread in their last 10 road games and two to seven against the spread in their last nine games overall. The Raptors are zero to four against the spread in their last four home games and 35 to 17 against the spread in their last 52 games overall. The over is five to two in Heat last seven overall. The under is 5-2 in Raptors' last seven overall. The over is 5-2 in the last seven meetings in Toronto. Miami is attempting to win the Eastern Conference regular season title and lead the Milwaukee Bucks by just one game. While Toronto is sixth in the conference standings, Miami has covered the number in eight of its last ten played on the road and the Heat have all their regulars back on the court. Miami has covered the nut in five of the last seven when playing on the road versus Toronto. The Toronto Raptors are playing great ball and they've been covering numbers as well. But I can't turn down the Heat and the free points assuming they play their key guys. The Heat could still use another win to inch closer toward locking up that top seed and I'd assume the Heat would like to get the win here as well for Lowry and his return. Miami Heat to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. Toronto's defense has been buttoned up lately, holding opponents to 104 points or less in four of their last five games. At the same time, Miami could be a little flat playing on the back-to-back and this under has a much better chance of pulling through if the Heat do rest top scorers like Adebayo and Butler. Miami also has a top five defense in points allowed, opponent field goal percentage, and opponent three-point shooting. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Minnesota Timberwolves vs. Houston Rockets The Minnesota Timberwolves will be going for their second consecutive win when they face the Houston Rockets on Sunday night. The Timberwolves are coming off a 136-130 win over Denver as three-point underdogs. The Rockets are coming off a 122-117 loss to Sacramento as three-point underdogs. Houston is 6-4 in its last 10 games against Minnesota. The Timberwolves are keeping an eye on Malik Beasley who is listed as day-to-day -day for this one, while the Rockets have ruled out Eric Gordon, Christian Wood and Dennis Schroeder again. The Timberwolves are still battling for playoff positioning, while the Rockets are dead last in the Western Conference standings. The Timberwolves are actually 5-0 against the spread this season as a double-digit favorite. The Houston Rockets have been a lot more competitive lately, but they fall apart at the drop of a hat and they still lose in the underdog role by an average of 10 points. The Rockets are also just 11 to 11 to one against the spread as a double digit underdog. This season, the Timberwolves are averaging 114.1 PPG, which ranks seventh in the NBA, while Houston is allowing 116.3 PPG and without Wood in the lineup. Towns will be open to being fed down low and get a ton of easy points that way and help build on the lead. Minnesota is also 42 to 34 to two against the spread this season, while Houston is 32 to 44 to two. Minnesota is battling to reach sixth place in the Western Conference to avoid the play-in segment of the postseason. The Timberwolves have covered the number in 12 of their last 17, while in contrast, Houston has failed to cover the number in 11 of its last 14 at home on Sunday. In addition, the Rockets have failed to cover the number in five of the last six versus Minnesota. The Rockets have way too many injuries and have thrown the towel in on this season as they are looking to get the first overall pick. Along with that, Minnesota is still trying to chase down the sixth seed and is healthy. While the line is a little hefty for a road team, I think the Timberwolves come out firing and get the much needed win in this spot. So the Minnesota Timberwolves to win and cover the spread is 
favorites is our full game side pick. Both Minnesota and Houston play at a fast pace as they both play at a pace of 102.6 which is tied for the best in the NBA. Both teams like to get up as many shots as possible and without Houston's defense lacking, Minnesota should be able to score a ton of points while the Rockets could very well get around 110 to 115 themselves anyway. This season, the Timberwolves are 46 to 32 and hitting the over while Houston is 42 to 35 to 1. In Minnesota's last five games, they are averaging 238.2 PPG including a game Dallas only put up 95 points in. In the Rockets' last five games, they are averaging 233. The Timberwolves are averaging 115 points per game and 118 points per game on the road. They average 100. 26 points per game in their last three games against the Rockets. With Houston giving up 118 points per game at home, the Timberwolves will hit their average in this game. The Rockets are averaging 109 points per game and 111 points per game at home. They averaged 112 points per game in their last three games against the Timberwolves. With Minnesota giving up 118 points per game on the road, the Rockets will score enough points to push the score over the total. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Phoenix Suns vs. Oklahoma City Thunder Phoenix will try to bounce back from its first loss since March 11th when it travels to Oklahoma City on Sunday night. The Suns had their nine-game winning streak snapped in a loss to Memphis on Friday night. Oklahoma City is riding a two-game losing skid following a loss to Detroit its last time out. The Suns are 9-4 against the spread in their last 13 road games and 7-3 against the spread in their last 10 games overall. The Thunder are 2-6-2 against the spread in their last 10 home games and 7-2 against the spread in their last 9 games overall. The over is 8-3 in Suns last 11 overall. The over is 15-5-1 in Thunder last 21 overall. The Suns are 2-5 against the spread in the last 7 meetings in Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City is dealing with as many injuries as any team in the NBA but that has not stopped the Thunder from playing competitive games. The Phoenix Suns are obviously capable of a blowout here, but they've played a lot of ball lately, and their loss to an undermanned Grizzlies team could be a sign they're looking ahead to the playoffs. The Suns will have played four games this week with this game. The Oklahoma City Thunder aren't good and are no strangers to blowout losses but they're also 46-27-4 against the spread on the season. The Oklahoma City Thunder have covered the spread in seven of their last nine games, as their young roster is eager to earn playing time heading into the 2022-2023 season. So the Oklahoma City Thunder to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. I am not sensing there will be a ton of effort on the defensive end of the court in this matchup, particularly from Phoenix. The Suns will still be wanting to put up points on the offensive end, but their defensive effort could be lacking. They are sitting in between clinching the top seed in the playoffs and the end of the regular season, so there is not much motivation to work with. Phoenix has gone over the total in 8 of its last 11 games. Oklahoma City has gone over in 15 of its last 20 games, so the Thunder have been overcoming their injury woes. They have gone over in 4 of their last 5 games against Phoenix. The Suns play at a pace of 101.2 which ranks 10th in the NBA while Oklahoma plays at a pace of 100.3 which ranks 14th. Along with that, Phoenix is 41-36 in hitting the over this season while the Thunder are 39-38. In the Suns' last five games, they are averaging 235 points while Oklahoma is averaging 234. Phoenix will score a ton of points, likely in the 120s to 130s, so all the Oklahoma City Thunder needs to do is get over 100 and near 110 for this over to hit. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.